Hey everybody, what's up? Ultramag64 here. Today is Monday, September 10th, and that means it's time for another Map Monday! And this week I bring you a Dwarven City! And this is a fantastic city made by the map creator whose link is down below. If you want to download it, go ahead and test it out for yourself. This is fantastic. It's just gigantic, and it's just so much awesomeness. It looks so mystical and so mythical, and it's just... Yeah, I love it. It's just, it looks like it's built in the wall, too. Or the wall of the mountain. And it's just really nice. I'd love to know if they, you know, had a specific seed. Or if this was a specific seed that they were just like, Hey, let's try this seed. I found this really cool seed. Let's try it. And build something out of it. Although this tree, this poor tree looks like it's not very happy. It's been cut in half. But I just, I just love to... I'd just love to know if they used a specific seed or if they were just like, hey, um, let's try just random world generation. We also have some iron golems down here. I don't know why these guys are here. Why are you guys here? Yoo -hoo. Hello? Over here. Well, fine, ignore me. See if I care. Jerks. If you want to know what texture pack I'm using, I'll put a link in the description below. I can't remember the name of it. I think it's, um, Mine 3D, I think, is what it's called. Not entirely sure, but it adds to so much detail to the default texture pack, and it just looks so amazing. So, I love these vines, by the way. These vines are just so fantastic as they drape down onto the city entrance, and it just looks so nice. I also love the design of this door. To have it um, just kind of creak out, like it's just barely open and crack, looks just so fantastic. I love that. I don't like when, you know, the map has it just jutting straight into the wall, you know, it's just wide open. I don't like that, but I love that. That is a nice little touch there. And here we are in the main entrance. And as you can see, this place is gigantic. On the inside, it's just like the ceiling is up here, the floor is down here. It's just, it's so nice to have an arc. I love arches. And that just looks so fantastic. We also have some lava dripping down here as well. Which also adds a little bit of um, mood lighting. As well as just looking so dwarven, you know? Dwarves were the mythical forge people um, and so it just makes sense to have lava in their cities and as you can see over here we have as you can see as you can see as you can see blah 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 we have some glowstone lighting the path as well I'd love to see this without the glowstone to see if it actually does light up it probably doesn't they probably could have done just one strip but um, I really like that they went with the two strips because it just matches and it really does light everything up perfectly like you can clearly see where you're going here. <laughs> Although, um, over here it's a little bit darker, but I do love that design with the stairs. It's really nice. Looks almost like, um, oh, like it would be a track for something, you know? I don't know, it just reminds me of a track. But here we are in the main room, and as you can see right here, ugh, I keep saying that. That's annoying. Um, so if you're looking right here, which of course you are, you see a chain of iron blocks, which I love this design of iron blocks, by the way. This chain looks so just, it looks like a chain, you know? It just looks like a chain. And it leads to this weird magma cube thing, or magma sphere, I don't really know which. It's just a sphere of glass with magma enclosed inside. Um, I'd imagine it's some sort of, uh, like, power source for the forge or whatever. Uh, I don't really know what this is for, but it looks cool nonetheless. And we have magma dripping down from up top of these thingies. And down here we have some what look to be entrances, but they don't really work. Which is, uh, it's forgivable, but I really wish I would have, like, they would have done really rooms and stuff. But I can understand why, because I mean, this place is gigantic, it took forever. And I'm guessing that these are that this entire cavern has been hand carved, um, block by block. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but it looks that way to me, at least. But yeah, just look at this stuff. This is fantastic. 
And over here we have a ring and a random block right here. Um, before I started the map, I actually had uh, monsters on. So I'm hoping Enderman did not mess with this and randomly troll a block right here. I don't know if they could. Probably couldn't, but you never know, you know. It's just one of those things where it's like, hmm, you know, I don't know. That block was probably placed there intentionally, though. But it's still, it's still just, it makes me wonder why. It makes me want to know what's... What secrets does this block hold? And down here we have a giant magma Blake thing that leads down here. Oh gosh. You can see that you can see the place. Whoa, frame drop. Okay, that was bad. Frame drops just happening everywhere. Okay, wait. I always get turned around here. Okay, I need to I need to see which way. I came from I came from that way, so let's go this way. I always get turned around in circular rooms. My mortal enemy. And here we have more of the um I call them primitive torches, even though they're not really primitive, they're just um they're actually more advanced than normal torches, but I call them primitive torches cuz they just look like primitive and um they're just fire on a stick. Then again, I guess that's what a torch is. Eh, I don't know. And here we have the main throne room, and the main throne room looks phenomenal. I, I love that design right there. That design is just so... Just... Ah! I love it. And we have some magma flowing down here. Actually, this... Blah, 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 wrong button. This one right here was, for some reason, a lot lower. Like, it was about right here when I first... So I, I tried to fix it, um, not sure if I succeeded or not, because it looks like, yeah, it looks like there's stairs right here, so let's fix that real quick. Sorry, not trying to break your map or anything, just trying to fix stuff that, yeah, let's make sure I got the right block, yep. Okie doke, so let's place it there, there, and grab our magma. I know, I know, I'm breaking the map, I'm fixing the map, I know, I know. It's not something I normally do. Oh gosh, now I see why I shouldn't mess with stuff. Okay, hang on. Let's see if I can fix this thing. Okay, it looks like... Yeah, 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 okay. Okay, I see what you're saying, game. Alright, yeah, I, I, I probably shouldn't mess with this, but it just... It, it, I couldn't help it. I couldn't help myself. Yeah, probably shouldn't have done that. I'll admit. Not my smartest idea. What you gonna do? Um, anyway. Let's just not look at that. Probably not gonna be too proud of that later in the comments. <laughs> anyway, guys. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Map Monday Show because I did. This is a fantastic map. And, um, it just looks really, really good. I really love old rustic mythical cities this this is just amazing to me and um i know that you guys are you we got some talented map builders and uh construction people mine instruction people mm. uh in mine in the minecraft community in general and if you have a map that you want me to showcase i promise i won't try and fix it i just that that one lava but that one lava fall just i don't know it just, it's, everything else is so perfect that it just, it needed to be fixed. Um, let's show you this map at night, because for some reason I got out and it's at the same time that I should have been, um, out by now. Anyway, here is the map at night, and it just looks really nice, lit up, and, um, overall very nice entrance. Many, very, um, uh very menacing almost to me it just seems like so big it's like you're so small and uh, I'm so big it's just um, it's like a David and Goliath kind of feel to it I guess I don't know but I really do like it I really do like it it's really fantastic we have some waterfalls over here I don't know if I showed you guys these got some waterfalls right there um, I tried to find a entrance up top. Let's show you up top, because I don't think I showed you up top. 
So here we have the up top, up tippy top of the whole map, and it looks fantastic. This is just another great Minecraft find on planetminecraft.com. So, anyway, if you have a map that you would like me to showcase, please leave a link down below, and I'll contact the person of the map, or if you're the person of the map, I'll contact you, I guess. Or if you give me permission. Um, that's just how I work. I like to have permission from the people that make the map, because not everyone wants me to showcase the map. Or maybe they want to showcase it themselves, or, you know, maybe it's not done. Um, so I have to contact them. That's just... Uh, hoops I prefer to jump through, I guess. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button down below. If you didn't, please tell me what you didn't like um, in a comment below. And uh, comment what you liked about this map. Uh, was it the waterfall? Lava falls, I mean? Not waterfalls. Well, there are waterfalls. Anyway, um, was it the structure itself? Was it these big hook looking things was it the door the door is my favorite part I gotta say the door is my favorite part is it the vines you know what is your favorite thing of this map um, leave a comment below telling me what it is so anyway guys this is Metal from Egg 64 tune in next week for another map Mondays tomorrow is torchlight day don't forget to tune in to that because I know you guys love some torchlight anyway I'll check you later peace